Based in cognitive science, nudge theory is the idea that indirect suggestion and positive reinforcement are better methods of directing better behavior than coercion or punishment. We've seen examples of how governments have implemented this theory through nudge units. For instance, in the UK, they were able to successfully get more people to pay their taxes on time with nudges in the form of short messages. And in Japan, a nudge unit is working to get people to moderate their energy usage by allowing them to compare their usage with others. While there are plenty of examples of success, there are also still many questions around nudge theory. Is there success a fluke? Are there negative consequences that we have yet to see? And can these nudges be taken too far? Now that you've learned about nudges and the theory surrounding them, it's time to create your own. Think about a social behavior that you think could be changed for the better and write an explanation for why you think changing this behavior would improve society. Then build a nudge strategy for changing this behavior. Consider what materials or media you would need to implement this strategy and how your strategy would change people's behavior. Finally, you need to see whether your strategy is successful. What data do you need to gather and how will you analyze this data? At the same time that you present your nudge proposals, you will evaluate the proposals of other students. Think about what questions you should ask about their nudges. How would you evaluate the chances of success for a nudge? These questions should help your peers think critically about their own work so that they can improve their proposals. Be sure to also listen to what others say about your proposal and consider how their questions can lead you to improve your ideas.